Hello everybody, um, this is Desmond2520 here, back in with another video, and today we'll be talking about another exotic in Destiny 2. This is Thorn, and overall this is actually my favorite hand cannon thus far that I have picked up from the uh, list of exotic hand cannons. Um, and yeah, so today we're just going to be talking about the weapon, doing a review of it, talking about what stats are, so on and so forth. And then also be showing the exotic perk, how it works, and then how its second perk um, works, um, which I'll have a specific clip for. As for other news, um, I do, for all those who are waiting for a hardline video, I do have the hardline, um, I do have the gameplay finish for my next um, hardline review. Difference is that I'm just trying to make sure I have the stats right, because um, there's a few stats missing from the place I usually get my stats from, so I'm just checking it over again just to make sure I'm correct. Um, so that should be out within the next day or two. Um, in terms of anything else, really, um, I don't know when the next exotic video will be, because I have a ton of exotics to go through. Um, and obviously, um, as a disclaimer for those who don't know already, um, I don't play Destiny super competitively, I don't play it, um, well, I used to be quite, I used to try and play it quite competitively back in D1, um, I raided and everything like that, so I know what it's like to be in the competitive scene, but regardless, I'm doing this from a console and a semi-casual standpoint, but a grind, I guess, a semi-grinder casual standpoint, so, with all that being said, Let's just get right into talking about Thorn and why it is now my favorite hand cannon. So, for an introduction to Thorn, this is a hand cannon that was once obtainable by a quest in Forsaken. By picking it up, you would also, by picking up the piece for it, you could also pick up Lumina from the same area. Can't do it anymore. Now you must get it from the exotic kiosk, which is where I got it because this is my second account to play Destiny 2. And, um, I kind of just started from scratch, so I unlocked it. Um, and as for its reputation, it's known, it was known in, um, D1 for being extremely broken, then in D2 it had a lot of, um, or sorry, in D1 it got nerfed and then they had to buff it again, and in D1 it was just kind of weird. Now in Destiny 2, ever since its release, it's been a great weapon. I think they've done a much better job of balancing the weapon. In Destiny 2, um, and even in PvE, this weapon went from being what was considered by a lot of people a bad PvE weapon to being a great PvE weapon. Um, as you can see in the background, as I'm just running around killing yellow bars with it in this public event. Um, with all that being said, though, um, for those that just want my general opinion on the weapon, um, I think it's a good weapon. Like, to, to be fair, I just think it's a good overall... Yeah, I would say it's just a good overall hand cannon. Um, and the star rating would be 5 out of 5. Um, can be used in PvP and PvE. But for those who want more information onto the gun, let's get onto some of the hard stats and talk about its exact perk. All that, and what is the best way to use it. Okay, so for the quick stats out of the way, we'll go over the um, stats on the stat bar, then I'll talk about what perks it has, so on and so forth. Uh, mind you, all of it, is, since you can't choose any other options, I'm not going over what, like, sights, barrel, stuff like that it has, because it doesn't matter. Uh, you can't change them, so the base stats don't change. The only thing that um, makes a difference is the exotic perk and stuff like that. So, for the rounds per minute, it was a 150, but has since been reduced to a 140 with the newest update, reducing all 150s except Sunshot to a 140 RPM hand cannon. It has an impact of 79, which I'll talk about in a minute. A range of 40, which is fairly good. Um, stability of 59, handling 68, reload speed 46, and it has a magazine of 9 and an aim assist of 85. Now, most of you guys are not going to know what those stats are. Don't worry. Um, essentially, they're just the values for it, but essentially, um, the higher the value, the better. 100 being the highest you can get. 
So just putting that into context on how much damage it does, and that's 100 is max for a hand cannon. Basically, so max like damage that one could do. So let's get into the perks. So we have Mark of the Devourer, which is its main perk, which you'll see in the background on some occasions. Um, mind you, I'm standing still here for a few seconds, but you also get to see the um, the perk tested in a moment. But essentially, what Mark of the Devourer does is that shots over penetrate targets, which means that they can hit targets from um, through through each other. So if you shoot one person and there's two people behind them, it'll hit both of them, um, which is really good in, like, PvE. Its second effect, however, uh, when hitting a target, they also take damage over time for a short amount of time. Now, I'll talk about that in the PvP section, about how much damage it does, how much damage it does with that. Um, but strictly, we're talking about PvE right now. Um, and... It has its second perk, which is, um, Soul Devourer. So, what does that do? Well, basically, um, Mark of Devourer's third perk, which I forgot to mention, the mini perk, um, killing enemies leaves a remnant, which is those little green circle thingies. You pick up the green circle thingies and you get Soul Devourer. You get five seconds of it. So, when picking up Soul Devourer, when you're picking up the remnants, you will gain a, um, a modest increase of four rounds to the mag, and your ability, your damage over time effect will deal bonus damage. Um, you'll see examples of it too, like in this gameplay. Um, actually, quite a few seconds ago you could have seen it. Um, me shooting vandals and talking about it. But um, essentially, on average, I've seen it do like around, at least in here, mind you. So this means we're, we're scaled down to the lowest possible damage it can or sorry, the highest possible damage it can do to these enemies. It's doing around 113 damage per tick, it looks like. Um, as you can, or sorry, it's higher than that, yeah. So for these enemies, it's like 589, um, per hit. But upon picking up and getting Soul Devourer, it's doing 1,767. The reason why is, is that not only does the ability buff the damage, but I think it's like 2.5 or something like that, like that's what it feels like, it's like 2 times-ish, 2.5-ish in between there, but also, um, all shot, all the damage over time now counts as a crit as well, so it gets a crit bonus, so it gets even more multiplicative damage. Um, I'll explain how good this is in Crucible, but in general, um, as once again you'll see here through yellow bars that I'm fighting, um, I'm doing 480 damage to a yellow bar, then upon killing it, I pick up Soul Devourer, and I'm doing 14,000, or sorry, 1,400 damage per hit. Um, so just as like a quick explanation how the perk works. Okay. So obviously this is really good in PvE, because most hand cans don't do very well at DPS, as with Thorn, well, you can use it to spam kill adds. As well as, um, as well as use it to just kill a lot of enemies in general and then deal good DPS. Um, you you actually, if you guys saw the public event I was in earlier in the video as well, you could see that even without me using it, there was a lot, of, there was decent damage done to the boss because of the ability. Um... So, for PvP, since I'm actually changing up the flow a little bit to make it seem better. Um, for PvE, I give this weapon, if you want to use a hand cannon, this is my preferred hand cannon for PvE. Um, though its biggest contenders will probably be um, Ace of Spades and... Well, its biggest contenders will be Ace of Spades, Sunshot, and if they are running like a... Um, a Warlock, maybe Lumina, because Lumina can heal people and stuff like that, which I'll talk about once I get to revealing Lumina at some point. Um, yeah, so over on PvE, I give this weapon a 4 out of 5. Um, simply put, even though the fact is, is that if you're doing like super high-end content, um, Thorn is good up to like the Nightfall, and then past the Nightfall it starts becoming annoying. Um, in raids it can be used, but it's just, I don't know, it's not great. 
because there are other exotics, especially like heavy and um, and um, energy exotics that are just uh, even other primary exotics. They're all just better than it at dealing DPS. Um, but if you want to run a hand cannon, this is probably the best hand cannon overall. At least if you want something that can deal good against bosses and low tier enemies. So they like said four out of five. It's not perfect, but it's not terrible either. Um, next up, we're going on to our um, our PvP review. So with 79 impact, that means that max damage it would do would be like is 79. Um, difference is though, I think it's past like two meters or something like that. It drops down to like 70, and that's what you'll get on average. Basically, every shot will do around 70 damage per hit. Um, up until I think it's like I don't even know the exact range but I think it's like it's like I would think uh, mind you my in-game measuring is kind of terrible but um it's like 10 15 meters something like that and then you start dropping off it could be even longer than that like I said I'm not great at calculating range in destiny and I don't at the moment, um, I don't have somebody to go into private matches with to test it. But, um, the biggest thing about it is, though, is that you don't really have to worry about range at some point. Because, um, with that 70 damage, with 200 health, and then you have the perk Mark of the Devourer proccing. So Mark of the Devourer will deal 1 damage per tick. And it ticks for, I think it's like, 3 seconds, 4 seconds, something like that. But it ticks, like, every, like half a second so you're getting like six seven damage out for each shot and the and these do stack by the way but not like stacking damage numbers more like stacking um time so basically if you hit him three times it'll be it'll refresh the cooldown and add a tiny bit more um generally with three shots um if they are low or medium resilience which is your resistance perk or your resistance stat um they will die to it um, in three headshots if they don't die from the headshots themselves. Um, sometimes high resilience targets I've had issues with. Every once in a while they will, um, they'll survive with like six, seven health because they have so much health. But, um, what really makes it good is once you get to the, um, second perk, once you get to Soul Devour. Upon equipping Soul, uh, upon Soul Devour being proc, so killing somebody and then picking up their stuff, off the ground, you get six damage per hit. Which means that for approximately three to four seconds, you are dealing six damage every half a second. Um, effectively, that means that Thorn, if doing this correctly, if you hit two precision shots, will, against low um, armor enemies, or low resi resilience enemies, will be a two-tap against medium resistance enemies I've sometimes seen um, a three hit needed but generally at any basically once you get soul devour is a three shot at pretty much any range or I'm sorry any uh, any point within its max range um, mind you this is with headshots with body shots it's like 49 which isn't bad but um, even at longer ranges too and this is what makes Soul Devour so great, is that the damage um, from the ability stays no matter what. So as long as you can keep hitting a target while you have Soul Devour up, you can just keep whittling away their health over time, and they won't start regen either unless there's like a perk or ability that does it. And even then, unless it's like a healing rift or something like that, like unless it's constant healing, they won't be able to heal from it, from having it up, which is really, really um, insane. So, like I said, simply put, it's in 140 RPM, which is probably the, one of the best hand cannon. It probably, I would say, not the greatest, but probably one of the greatest hand cannon archetypes in the game right now. Um, good, good range, I would say. Um, and a very, very good perk. Um, Iron Sights, as you've seen this gameplay, you can do it, you're, you can figure it out yourself. Recoil is a bit wonky, but nothing like bad. Like you can accurately shoot it at at this range, which is about max damage range. You're seeing me when I was standing back there at the flag thing. That's like about your max range. So 
I would say yeah. In terms of PvP, I will give this weapon a 5 out of 5. Simply put, the hardest issue with getting the gun to work is getting that first kill. After you get that first kill and you pick up Soul Devourer, you will start murdering people. Um, me and my friend in the clan, in my clan for this, um, for this game, or in our clan, should I say, the clan that me and a bunch of other people made, um, ended up, I ended up, um, in survival with them. I killed one person, got the buff, and immediately proceeded to kill four people, including two of them, as, or, yeah, I killed four people, then killed, and killed another person, a few, like, a, like, right before the end of the buff, a couple seconds later, and two of them had just spawned in, which means that they had over shields and I was still killing them. In three to four shots. <laughs> with over shield. So, yeah, overall, like I said, hardest thing, get that first kill in PvP. As soon as you get that first kill and you pick that up, go ham, start shooting things, almost nothing will out DPS you. With that being said, though, hopefully you guys enjoyed me talking about Thorn, since Thorn is one of my favorite um, guns right now. I can't recommend it enough for PvP, um, especially once you get used to handling the recoil and getting used to the range and all that. The weapon is just a solid workforce weapon that has a perk that makes it a DPS monster. With all that being said, though, that's all I have for Thorn. Overall rating is a 9.5 out of 10 because it has 4 out of 5 and 5 out of 5. For my next review, I have no clue what gun's coming next, but hopefully you guys enjoyed me talking about this gun. Because, yeah. And hopefully you guys try and give it a chance. But, with all that being said, like and subscribe. This is Desmond 530 signing off.